This is Valco Melton's new S-Drum series drum and loader. This drum and loader is designed to melt and pump adhesive sealants and waxes from 55-gallon drums. The S-Drum unit has a uniquely designed two-piece platen, which has some of the highest melt rates in the industry. Depending on the adhesive, melt rate can be approximately 475 pounds per hour with a typical 10,000 centipoise adhesive. EVAs and waxes can actually exceed well over 500 pounds per hour melt rate. The uniquely designed platen actually has six heaters in the upper platen and six heaters in the lower platen for excellent heat transfer. The unloader can be supplied with either one or two O-rings depending on the type of product being pumped and the type of drum that the uh, material is in. The S-Drum manifold has two pressure relief valves. A safety pressure relief valve is preset. An adjustable pressure relief valve allows the operator to adjust the current running pressures. These pressures can be set between 100 and 1,000 PSI. A blow-off safety relief air valve ensures maximum pressure to the blow-off valve for fast drum changes while not exceeding safety limit. Variable speed spur gear pumps are supplied with the S-Drum. Various sizes can be used depending on the output required. The S-Drum is standard with four level sensors, a low empty Second from the bottom is low level, which actually turns on a flashing light to alert the operator it's time to change drums. Second from the top is the drum clear sensor, which turns off the blow off valve as the platen exits the drum. And finally, the top sensor is raised position, which makes sure that the uh, unit is up and in its stop position. Two air regulators with pressure gauges are accessible on the back of the unit. RAM pressure with a maximum set point of 100 PSI and a blow-off pressure relief valve with a minimum 35 PSI setting. Solenoids for the raising and lowering of the platen and also the blow-off valve are located inside a cabinet. When the drum is almost empty, the drum empty light will come on, which alerts the operator that it's time to change drums. The switch is switched from the down position to the up position and the two enable buttons are pushed. When the platen reaches the top of the drum, the blow-off valve automatically shuts off. A drip tray is provided, which slides underneath the heated platen so that glue does not drip down onto the operator or onto the platform as drums are changed. Once the drip tray is in place, the clamp can be undone so that the 55-gallon drum is exposed. It can be easily pulled out. Once the empty drum of glue is removed, the new drum could be pressed into place. Once the new drum is in place and located, the clamps are reshut and the Teflon drip tray is removed. The Teflon coated drip cup is provided to catch adhesive as it is purged from the unloader. The purge valve is open just before the platen is dropped down into the new drum. As soon as the platen is dropped into the new drum of glue, a small amount of adhesive is run out to make sure there are no air pockets left inside and the valve is closed. LEDs are provided for the upper platen, the lower platen, the pump manifold, and all hoses and guns. The lights flash green when the unit is up to temperature and an overall system ready light comes on. The top of the platen on the S-Drum is very clean. Sealed covers cover up hoses and the blow-off valve which is inside the platen. The blow-off valve, air lines, and electrical connections are all located inside the platen, completely